Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel and to another vlog. I'm gonna be bringing you guys through the next couple days of my life. I've just been doing some computer work this morning. I went to an early morning workout. I didn't vlog any of it. I ended up going like a bit later because I'm still adjusting to daylight savings. The clocks went ahead an hour, which means we lose an hour of sleep in the morning. And I have been struggling a little bit with that. I'm a little tired. I am just sitting down now to do some more work. And I wanna to talk to you guys a bit about some things in my life. I obviously, you guys know, use BetterHelp for my therapy. So shout out to BetterHelp because they are sponsoring today's video. I have kind of come to a realization, just some like self acknowledgement that I struggle a bit with anxious attachment. I wouldn't say I'm like full blown, like the whole level, but I definitely have some of the attributes of anxious of anxious attachment. I can't say that, anxious attachment, which of course is, you know, a struggle sometimes. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of different things to help battle that because I obviously want to be more on the secure side. I definitely have a lot of attributes that are like a secure attachment, but I do also have some that are definitely anxious attachment. And it's something that I wanna work through, something that I wanna overcome, especially going into my last year in my 20s and into my 30s. I don't want to be anxiously attached anymore. So I have been reading some books on anxious attachment, which has really helped me just kind of understand my own mind. And along with that, I have been doing therapy because therapy helps you see a whole new perspective on the way that you think, the way that your brain operates, how things from your past could affect the way that you are now as a full grown adult. And it's just amazing to speak to someone with an unbiased opinion on things. And that's why I have loved using BetterHelp and why I'm so excited to share it all with you guys today and just tell you guys a little bit more about their service. Also, sometimes it can feel hard to open up to your loved ones about things that may be going on with you personally. I know sometimes it's just great to get an unbiased opinion, somebody who doesn't know you personally to open up to and I find it really, really beneficial. And you also just get a whole new perspectives, you get toolkits, you get things that you can do to rewire your thinking, journaling habits, etc. All these kind of things you can learn in therapy that'll help you so, so much. So BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to give you beneficial and unbiased advice, which we all would love to have. So first off, you're gonna go to their website. You can go to my link down below. It's betterhelp.com backslash Chelsea T. You're gonna fill out a short questionnaire and from there, they're gonna match you to a therapist who has years of experience, helping with struggles just like yours. You're able to do it all from your phone or your computer. You can do it via messaging or video call, whatever is the most comfortable for you and the easiest for you. You'll be matched with therapists usually within 48 hours so you can get started super fast. To let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist from the comfort of your own home, you can go to www.betterhelp.com backslash Chelsea T or you can select my channel name in the drop down menu and that'll get you a discount off your first month. So thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. You guys know how much I love the service, how much it has helped me, and I love sharing that with you guys. So let's get into the rest of this video. Look at my size 10 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Any shoe companies watching, running shoes. Jason's a size 10 and a half, and he desperately needs my running shoes so he can come with me on my run. So you could just like surprise us with a pair. <laughs> I told him a size 10. I think you're 10 and a half. You told me 10 and a half. Not 10. Oh, you said I get a size You need bigger. to get a size half bigger, so 10 and a half. I'm a size so. 10 and a half. <laughs> so yeah, if you could just like kindly give to Perry, you can sign in my DMs, I'll send you the address. Get Jason to come on more runs with me, please. Well, if they're not nice. <laughs> You'll learn. Don't come a knocking. <laughs> Jason just made slow cooked beef, which looks so good. And we already know it's good because we tried it. And some broccoli and rice. It looks 10 out of 10. You cook the rice. I cooked the rice, but it looks 10 out of 10. Hello everyone, it is later now and we're on our way to, well, not Scotiabank Arena, but the store across from it because MLS invited me and Jay to go and see their new St. Pat's jersey that they're relaunching. They're having like a little event thing. So we're gonna do a pop in, see how that goes. And yeah, we're walking there because it's actually nice out for once. It's warm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jay wants to show the view.
morning, everybody. It is Wednesday now. Hello, good morning. I took Millie on a little walk this morning. I've actually been up since quite early, since like 6 a.m. I just woke up at that time and did I have a morning? Yes, I spilled my coffee all over the coffee table and partly on the rug, but I feel like you can't see it. Somehow I managed to avoid my entire sofa when I spilt it, so that was good. Um, and now I'm just chilling. I had too much coffee this morning because after I spilt mine, I made another one and that was probably a bad idea because it was just too much caffeine. So now I'm drinking some electrolytes in this cute St. Pat's cup. We were gifted these after the event. We didn't stay for that long. We stayed for like 30 minutes, but um, it was just because it was more of like a social like party kind of event. And we were both just tired and socially awkward and we're like, let's just go home. So that's what we did. Went home, went to bed. And that was kind of our evening, but it was fun. And I loved seeing all of the jerseys and they had a lot of like Leafs alumni there, which was really cool. One of the men was like talking to us and I just knew he was alumni because he had this big Maple Leafs like ring. I'm assuming an alumni ring on his finger and it was sparkling. I was like, holy shit. But it was just funny because he was literally talking to me and Jay who are just two people who know nothing about hockey. And he was talking to us about hockey where we were just like, I have no idea. <laughs> like you're talking, you picked the two worst people to start having a hockey conversation with. Anyways, I just did some invoicing and stuff this morning and now I'm gonna do a bit of planning. I downloaded a little weekly and monthly planner in um, on my iPad. So this is what it looks like. That's like the little monthly spread. It's just super simple and then it goes into like weeks and it has a kind of like a bulletin board thing here that you can put like little stickers if you want to like say you have like an event or something or notes or things to remember or grocery list or la 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 whatever it may be you can put it there which i think is really cute so i've been trying to stay organized again and just writing down when i have events and when things are in this little calendar so i can stay on top of it i had to order a new apple pencil because if you guys don't know millie chewed my last one which was really annoying and basically just destroyed the end off of it it was still working but it just was a mess so we got a new one i got it engraved with my name which is cute <laughs> don't think you can see that but whoop. I'm gonna be doing a bit of that. I thought I would also show you guys the book I've been reading. Well, my Kindle is fine because I spilled coffee all over my Kindle as well. But this is the book. It's called Anxiously Attached, Becoming More Secure in Life in Love by Jessica Baum. And I've been reading that and I find it really good so far. It talks a lot about how your childhood affects, you know, who you are as an adult and blah 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 i'm definitely like between secure and anxious i know everybody has like their own attachment style i'm not avoidant at all i'm definitely between secure and anxious and i feel like as i've gotten older i've become more and more secure which is good but i would like to be super secure you know who doesn't that's everyone's goal is to be like the most secure girl of all time in relationships and thankfully i'm with a partner now who makes it very easy to feel secure but i am just also working on like, you know, bettering myself. There's nothing wrong with wanting to better yourself. So I do read that book. I've been reading it a bit in my free time. What else do I have to do today? I have to go for a 10K run, which I'm gonna find out if Jay's gonna come with me or not. I don't know if he's up for it, which is fair enough, honestly. If he's not, I don't blame him because, I mean, that's a lot. 10K is a lot, but the weather is supposed to be insane. Oh my God. Like the weather is supposed to be insane today. It says it's going up to 19 degrees, which I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> How is it jumping? It says it's going at 1 p.m. It's gonna be 13 degrees and by two, it'll be 18 degrees. How is that happening? I don't know, but if it is, I'm not complaining because that would be some luxurious weather to be out in. Here's hoping that that will stay because that would be so nice. Oh my God. I'm gonna be like running in shorts and a t-shirt. Oh. So we'll see if he's gonna go with me. If not, I'm gonna go in about two hours on this run. But anyways, I thought I would update y'all on how it's going, <laughs> how my morning has been going. And I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Also, my tulips are so thriving, though they're slowly starting to fall. But they've been doing really well. Like, honestly, the fact they've lasted this long without drooping at all, I'm quite proud of. Like, look, how, look at those puppies. Stunning. Best tulips ever, ever. Anyways, cha. Touch off or no?
morning, everybody. I realized that the clip I filmed yesterday was in slow motion. I keep having that issue with my other camera, not this one. There's like this little button that you can press on it and it makes it slow motion and it's so close to the power button. And I accidentally put my camera in slow motion all the time. I thought I would just do a little tiny bit of makeup with you guys and catch you guys up on anything that you missed from yesterday. That was in me chatting, that got totally cut out. Basically, we went on that 10K run. It was good, oh my God. But it was definitely difficult, like I will say that. So we did it at around a 6, 10, 6, 20 pace. Cause it was supposed to be like an easier pacing. And then there was a one kilometer in the middle that it was basically, you're running at a 455 kilometers. I don't know what that would be in miles, to be honest. You are like running, running. <laughs> And it was hard to sprint that kilometer in the middle. I also was trying really hard to breathe purely in and out of my nose while running, which I find difficult in general. Like I find it difficult to breathe in and out of my nose on the daily because I'm pretty sure I have a deviated septum, but I know how important it is to breathe in and out of your nose. It keeps your body in a more calm state. You're able to get oxygen in a lot better that way compared to mouth breathing, like you don't want to mouth breathe. And I'm trying to do the majority of my breathing purely in and out of my nose. And then if I'm like really struggling, I'll do it in my nose, out my mouth. Anyways, I filled in my eyebrows. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Styling Gel in the shade Soft Brown. This is great if you want to just like gel in, fill in your eyebrows in one. Like it, it does the trick so fast, so easy. I love this. And then I'm just gonna use my Merit Complexion Stick which is my fave. This one's in the shade Linen, which is light warm. I'm so excited though to go on holiday in a bit. It's not for like a month. I like can't wait to go on a holiday. Like it's just gonna be so nice to go somewhere warm and sunny and get a bit of a tan. And I feel like the timing is perfect too because we're going at like the middle end of April, which is like you can keep your tan. Like if it's a nice May, my tan will be staying around, which is my favorite. Cause the worst is when you go away in like January and you get this nice tan and then you come back into winter and your tan is just gone. And from what I've heard from everyone going down South right now is just how high the UV is. Cause I feel like when you go away in like the spring, the UV is even higher than when you go away in the winter. So I'm already expecting that it's gonna be quite high. This product is my favorite. I just kind of like on the daily, I'll just spot conceal with it. I also will apply it all over if I'm doing like a foundation look where I'll swipe it and then blend it. And that's great if you want like full coverage everywhere. But this color is a really good match for my skin tone. So I'm able to just kind of like spot conceal with it and blend it out where I need it and it'll just cover that up. I'm taking a rest day today from the gym. I just was like, I need a day to just chill out. So we're not working out today. We're not running today. We're just chilling and it's going to be lovely. Also this little rat tail I have with my hair drives me insane. <laughs> That's basically it for the coverage that just kind of like evened out anywhere that I need it. And I just love this so much. When the Sephora sale comes, which I know it is coming in the next couple weeks, one of the things I am gonna order is a summer shade for this because this is just the best. I thought about getting the Armani foundation, but honestly, I just love this. So I'm gonna order this in a summer shade. So I'm probably gonna get like the medium neutral, I think it is, or medium, I think medium neutral. I'll have to check again. But I just need a shade for when I am more tanned because I'm also expecting that when I get back from vacation, I'm gonna have some more color. So I'm like, I need a darker shade because this one matches my face right now. But what if I'm like super tanned, you know? I've gone away on holidays before and come back so tanned. So we will see. Now I'm going to powder when I find my powder. <laughs> I'm using the Pearl Beauty Core 4 powder in medium. This is made in South Korea, which is cool. I'm actually gonna just use this side of the brush and I'm just gonna like pat this anywhere that I'm like a bit shiny. Did I even apply any under my eyes? I can't remember. I don't really apply much product under my eyes that much anymore because I do have more fine lines. I used to put a lot of concealer under my eyes and they didn't really crease, but now I just don't like the way it looks. Like I want my under eyes to just not be creasing at all. It drives me insane. So I apply minimal, if not nothing under my eyes because I just despise the way it looks when it creases. Also exciting thing is that we are in the market for a bike. Jay, I think is gonna buy me a bike. Well, I know actually, he's gonna buy me a bike for my birthday, which I'm really excited about because I 
am just so excited to bike around Toronto in the summer. Toronto is a very bikeable city. We have bike lanes everywhere and you can get all over the city very quickly if you have a bike. So I'm so excited to have like a bicycle summer. It's gonna be so fun to just bike everywhere and go to different beaches and different spots and be able to just get there quickly while being outside in the sun, in the sunshine. So I'm very excited. We're looking for a bike for me. Of course, want one that's kind of cute. So we're like browsing around. I've been looking a lot on Facebook Marketplace to see if I can get a used one just because I'd rather get a better deal than spend a ton of money on one, honestly. So just been perusing and seeing what the options are. But I'm very excited for my bike summer, guys. I'm gonna be just like biking everywhere, being a bike gal outside in the sun. Like what more could you ask for? You know, I'm gonna be outside so much and I am so excited about that. I also haven't ridden a bike in a couple of years. I think the last time I rode a bike was the last time I was in Vancouver. So it's like, can I still ride a bike? Hopefully, you know, you're not supposed to be able to forget. Very excited to have my my bike summer. We're also planning on getting one of those corgi backpacks for Millie and my boyfriend's going to have Millie on his back. We want to get her goggles too so that we can take her to different like dog beaches and stuff in Toronto because obviously Millie's a bit bigger. She wouldn't fit in a basket like just she wouldn't fit in a basket and obviously my boyfriend he's volunteered that he'd be the one carrying Millie because it would be a struggle for me to carry my 40 pound almost dog on my back but he's got it also for my blush i'm just using the um bare minerals blonzer so this is brush blush blush and bronzer in one in the shade kiss of mauve which is a really nice just everyday shade it kind of goes on really natural like a pinky bronzy shade and it's nice because you can just like apply it all over and it just gives you like a sun-kissed glow. I really, really enjoyed this product. I just applied way too much on my nose. Love it. Also, I had to throw out my other makeup bag because something exploded in it. <laughs> so I've been using like two different ones. I tried to like divide it. So this is eye products and this is face and lip products just so that there was a little bit of sense with it because it's just kind of a mess. I'm gonna apply a bit of this hourglass. I forgot what this even looks like on. I never use this. It's the Hourglass um, Lip Balm thingy in the color Scents. Let's just see what this looks like. Just like super natural lip. I got these new Armani eye tints, which are really pretty. So I have the shade here, 8S, which is kind of like a iridescent purpley shade, I feel like. I also have this shade, which is really nice neutral. It's like a camely brown, a champagne color really pretty and then they have like a dark brown one so i think i'm gonna apply one of these just which one i'm going for a very natural i feel like purple won't go though i want to try the purple one because i just want to see what it looks like so let's just do the purple one even though it won't go with my blush or anything i just want to see what this one looks like on the eye it does have a warm iridescence to it so i feel like it could work so i just applied some and now i'm going to just blend it out with my finger it goes on a lot warmer like it's not too Purpley. It's like a really pretty iridescent kind of shade. And then I'm just gonna apply mascara. I'm not gonna do any eyeliner or anything. As you guys probably know, who've been following me for a while. My makeup routines have just like majorly calmed down as I've gotten older. I just cannot be bothered to do a ton of steps. I want it to be super natural and easy. And also like as you age, you get more fine lines and stuff and just makeup doesn't sit the same way. I'm definitely trying to make sure my makeup just like looks good and natural on me. I don't want to be like crazy and mess. I'm just using the Tower 28 mascara. This is my favorite. I really want to get it in the brown shade as well for like every day. I feel like brown is really nice. I'm trying to think of what I want to get during the Sephora sale. Like I don't want to get too much, but I do want to stock up on some products. I'm thinking about that I need a new curl cream. So I might get a curl cream for my hair because uh, I do wear my hair natural a lot more in the warmer months and I think a curl cream would be good. I also want to get a, a restock of that day like leave-in. I use that whenever I slick back my hair and it was just my favorite because it slicked it back but it also just is really hydrating. Yeah, maybe just the darker shade in the Merit and color a day maybe and then maybe just this and brown mascara and that would be ideal. Okay, there we go. Makeup is complete. Looking super cute. I could also pick up a refill of this because I love this and I feel like I'm gonna run out of it soon. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Ride or die. That's my makeup done. 
We're looking cute. The hair, right off. I'm gonna wash my hair later tonight um, and probably blow it out and do all that stuff, but this is the current sitch, okay? We're, we're rocking with the messy bun. We're rocking with it. Anyways, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I want to say I think I'm going to end up this vlog here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will link all of these products that I used down below for you guys. And I can't do this up. And I'll see you all in my next video.